I'm Bill Nye the science guy, ask me anything. I'll start with a few questions sent in a few days ago. Would you consider ever doing new episodes of Bill Nye the science guy? Yes, yes. But, it would have to be with the right producers, and it would have to be a less unfavorable contract. I put my heart and soul into that thing, everybody on the crew did. It was a unique time in TV history. It was exciting to be part of it. Let's change the world. What was so unfavorable about the contract? In 20 years Jim and Aaron, and I, the producers, have still not earned out. This is to say, according to the accountant at the legal entity involved, we still haven't shown a profit. I'm of course open minded, but skeptical. It's the way of the world. What is your favorite episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy? When you get that job as a professional dancer on Broadway, I recommend you never say or reveal who your favorite partner is. Plus, that may change with time. And so it is with the Science Guy show. There is something in every episode that I just love. Do you and Neil deGrasse Tyson hang out regularly? If so, what do you talk about? Astrophysics, the business of television, baseball, wine, and women. Do you understand that you are one of the biggest motivating factors for me and a lot of kids who watched you as kids to continue doing science all the way through middle and high school? I suppose my question would be, do you ever run into people that don't realize just how accomplished you are and just see you as a TV host? How do you react to that? First of all, thank you. I often stop and try to get it. I try to grasp the popularity and influence of the Science Guy show. But I'm not sure I do. If I may, I love you guys. If I go into Starbucks, and the people don't know about my show, or my planetary society job, or my recent recognition from the AM. Um, society of Mech. Engineers, the coffee seems to be about the same price. These are all things I feel good about. How else should or would I feel? HMM. Where do you get your bow ties from? When you see one you like, just buy it. If it's good looking, someone is right behind you ready to snap it up. I find them at Nordstrom, the store and rack. I have a couple dozen that bow ties of mod made into bows from straight ties with intriguing patterns. Astronomy to go is a good source thereof. Right now, I'm digging the slim line with arrow points. A-H-H. What do you think are the biggest things that we can do to improve education in public schools? Vote for improving schools every chance you get. If you're a parent, get as involved in your kid's education as you can, without troubling the teachers. The longest journey begins with a single step. In my view, we have to support schools, which might be written support schools. That takes taxes, and that takes a majority of us believing in public education. What's the best way to articulate that someone needs more information about a subject without sounding like a know-it-all? You're a great spokes person for science and I'd love to get a glimpse of your thought process before you respond to someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. Everyone you will ever meet knows something you don't. I respect that especially. I think I know to whom you refer, certain newscasters. When they ask odd questions, it generally means they're asking from their own experience. They have something on their mind or minds. I work to respond to that. I vaguely remember reading an interview along, while back when your show was still on where you said you liked model trains? Was that why most episodes of the show had train stuff in them, like the model trains carrying the planets in the solar system one? I do love model trains. They carry memories from childhood. But for me, there's more. If we had more, and better trains in the US, I'm pretty sure we'd be better off. Trains are more efficient than just about any other form of transportation. They roll with much less friction than rubber tires. They do not have to carry surplus motive power, energy slash unit of time. And, they run on schedules that can be optimized for energy use and level of service. What's not to love? My sons are 9, 6, and 5. What's a great experiment I can do with them this weekend? Share in Planet Fest, the Curiosity rover landing on Mars. Make your own sky crane. Look at Jerizit with a hand lens. Imagine what it would be to find it on Mars. Check out planetfest.org. This mission may change the world. If you could do anything else as a profession that doesn't involve science, not that you should, what would it be? You stumped me. What profession doesn't involve science? Lumberjack. Plenty of science. Bus driving. Hope you have a sense of momentum. 
talk, traction, and the passage of time. For me, science rules. Why do you think there are so few scientists in government? Governments, especially the US government, is system of laws. Those are written and developed by people drawn to that business. Many scientists are drawn to other intellectual pursuits. As an engineer, I might rather be making things instead of talking about directing people's behavior. One of the things that makes the US so attractive to immigrants is the sophistication and quality of our laws. Much as people like to complain, our laws in the US are better than than they are in much of the rest of the world. You a Stargate fan before your cameo? What are your opinions of the ancient astronaut theory? I always like the occasional Stargate. I have approximately no time for theories about ancient astronauts coming here and building pyramids and runways. What does that say about our ancestors? That they weren't smart enough to make a right angle? That they couldn't draw a straight line, even with a perfect beam of light? Cheer up. Humans are okay. What do you do in your free time these days? Ride my bike swing dance devise ways to grow more food in my garden and save energy in my house. Life's pretty good. Why do you think the United States lags so far behind in the field of science? What would you recommend, if anything, to get more people interested in science? We need a national common purpose, a goal we can achieve together analogous to landing people on the moon and returning him safely to earth. I'd like us to have a completely renewable energy system conceived, designed, built, and used by every one of us in the US we could lead the world in doing more with less. That effort would trickle up into every aspect of our lives, schools included. Would you ever consider doing guest speaking at various universities? What do you feel has been the most revolutionary discovery in the past 20 years other than the internet? And, in the same vein, what do you feel may be that next big technology? Favorite sci-fi series? I'm hoping Doctor Who. What do you feel is the future for NASA? Positive? Negative? What was your favorite personal discovery that you made? I speak at universities all the time. My agent is Betsy Berg. Find her on BillNye.com The accelerating expanding universe still gets my vote. A smart electric power grid could save us from ourselves. Star Trek, the original, I'm of that age. NASA is the best investment we make for less than 18 billion dollars. No one else can do what we'll witness Sunday next when we land on Mars. Check out planetfest.org. When I first saw craters on the moon through a telescope, that was something. What changes would you make towards teaching science, math and technology curriculum? We'd start earlier with algebra. Let's have symbols for numbers early, early in school. That will enhance everyone's appreciation of science. It should be an inexpensive thing to pull off. Stay tuned. Is slash was science a part of your everyday life? Science is part of everyone's everyday life. Hard to find anything lovelier than a tree. They grow at right angles to a tangent of the nominal sphere of the earth. They take water from the ground toward the sky. They are made mostly of carbon, which they take in right out of the air. How cool is that? And so on and on and on and on and on and on and on. How do we prepare for a mass extinction event coming from Mount Street? Helens? Would humans survive? Mount St. Helens isn't going to kill many more people in the near future. If you like to worry about things, consider a 150 meter asteroid with our name on it. Yikes. It's the reason the Planetary Society is working with the B612 Foundation to assay and deflect an asteroid someday. Do you have any advice for aspiring science communicators who try to explain science with humor? Be funny as well as funny looking. What are you concentrating on most right now? The landing on Mars. It's next Sunday night or Monday morning, depending on your time zone. The Curiosity rover will be lowered onto the surface of Mars by a sky crane. It's like science fiction, only it's real. The Planetary Society is hosting Planet Fest events around the world. The central event is at the Pasadena Convention Center. It goes on all weekend. It's going to be wild. Hope you'll join us. We may make a discovery about Marty and living things that changes the worlds. It seems like teachers, myself included, sometimes try to make science more relevant by saying that it's a great career option, and science outreach programs try to get more people interested in the STEM fields. I've recently started wondering if this is the wrong emphasis. 
It might make students think that, if they don't want to be in a science career, they are somehow exempt from understanding it. How can we make people realize that science really is just something you should understand, respect, and appreciate? Show then tell. Show them your passion. Science is the best ideas humans have had, so far. Let your people see it for themselves. Science rules, the universe, and that includes us.